Hey everybody, I'm really excited about this interview process today that we're gonna do because I've got my, my top health coaches, Melissa and Danielle, and I've got one of our mentors, somebody that we look up to in, in the world of nutrition, that's Julie Matthews. And so Julie is a world-renowned nutritionist. She's written a great book, Nourishing Hope for Autism. She speaks at tons of, of, of uh, conferences, in fact, I was looking at, at her bio and she's spoken in 60 cities across, is it three different countries, right? Uh, three, yeah, three continents. Oh, three no, yeah, continents. three countries. Three, more, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, three continents, that's three, right. Three <laughs> continents, so that's quite impressive, that's for sure. And so she has just brings a wealth of knowledge and all of us have learned so much from her. And so we're excited about Julie, and, and she's got a great program that I actually put Danielle and Melissa through. And so if you guys don't know Danielle and Melissa, they work with drjockers.com. I've been working with you guys for, I think, like two and a half years now, um, and they're awesome. So Danielle has a master's degree in nutrition, uh, loves serving and working with people, and she's done advanced trainings. We've done advanced trainings in functional medicine, as well as bio-individual nutrition, which is what we're going to talk about today. And Melissa is a certified health coach. She's trained in bio-individual nutrition, as well as advanced functional medicine. And they work with really tough, challenging health cases from all around the world. So literally, I mean, people are talking to them. They're talking to people on the phone, over Skype, over Zoom, and creating customized health plans to help these people overcome uh, you know, all kinds of different health challenges, anything from, you know, we're working with people with cancer, people with uh, leaky gut, autoimmune type issues, chronic inflammation, almost every kind of condition you can imagine, and really trying to create a plan that they can follow that's going to help move them in the right direction, help get them health results. And um, we just realized that we weren't getting the results that we wanted. And so, uh, we, I, you know, I, I, I'm always looking for, for new opportunities, new ways to learn. And that's why I came across Julie's program, the Bio-Individual Nutrition Institute. And when I was originally trained in nutrition, you know, 10, 15 years ago, it was kind of like this idea that, uh, you know, if a food was good, it was good for everybody. And, you know, there were bad foods and there were good foods. And it was just 100%. Okay. If you eat avocado, it's, it's always going to be good. Okay, and I wish it was that easy. It would really I know. be so simple, right? Um, but, it, I, you know, the more that I've worked with real people, and this is kind of when you know somebody's actually working with challenging cases, is they're not dogmatic because they've, they've been humbled many times trying to help people with nutrition and realizing, okay, this person's just not responding to things that I thought they would respond well to. And, uh, you know, Julie has done a deep dive in this area and, and developed this bio-individual nutrition institute and this nutrition program where she teaches over 12 therapeutic diets to practitioners. So we, so we have signs and, and, and so we have a roadmap to follow to help us customize the right plan that's going to move that individual in the right direction. And so without further ado, Julie, tell us your story and how you how you came about really figuring out these 12 therapeutic diets and creating this program to help teach practitioners about them. Yes. So I have, my specialty happens to be autism. And for those people who know about autism, it is a complex neurological condition. It, it involves digestive issues, problems with the microbiome, mitochondrial issues, methylation issues, oxidative stress and inflammation. And if we Think about that. These are really many of the underlying factors that are involved in all chronic disease, whether you have an autoimmune condition or a digestive disorder. And so as I was working with my clients over the years, I realized that if the child was put on the diet and the parents went on the diet, well, now dad with IBS went away or child of the sibling with ADHD or the mother with an autoimmune condition got better. And then I started to look into it and realize, oh yes, of course, they have similar genetics. They have similar underlying factors. It's just manifesting differently. So if we apply the diet and nutrition principles to those underlying factors, it doesn't really matter actually what condition they have as long as we're getting to the root uh, concerns and addressing them. And I would say the other thing, the dogmatic part is so true because I think it's just partly my personality. After doing this for 17, almost 18 years, 
as people walked through my door, there was always the diet flavor of the year. So there was, you know, it started with GFCF, which was great, gluten-free and dairy-free. And then along came another diet and another diet. And what happened was someone would always say, this, not always, not my clients, but the, the noise out there, you know, this is the only diet you need. You must do this diet. If you don't, your child will never heal. So then my clients came to me really stressed and worried, and I realized, you know, that's just not true. And then I, some people on that diet would do amazing, and some people on that diet would do terribly. So I started to think, who and look, who did really well on this diet? Who does really poorly on this diet? And so I started to look into those underlying factors, and I started applying the diet specifically to the individual. So I started working with all the different diets as they were appropriate for the person and started getting really great results. And then practitioners would ask me, what are you doing? Will you train me? And so that's why I started the Institute. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you put so much time and effort into this Institute and creating this program and you created all kinds of different roadmaps and PDFs and things like that to help practitioners like us. And I know Melissa, I believe you were the first one on our team to go through it and finish it. And I remember you telling me how much of an impact it made. And so can you, can you share that and uh, any, any case studies as well, if you have any? Yes, absolutely. It was a fabulous course. Julie is a great teacher. She's very uh, clear to understand. She really goes in depth with things. It's like, it's like she knows what question you're going to have and she answers it before you come up with the question for her. But um, you know, like you said, most of our clients are very complex. They've got a lot of, complex health issues. They often have several food sensitivities. And so for me, I think the biggest value is really going deep into, she goes through 12 special diets. So um, she looks at the benefits and pitfalls of each diet. And so using those principles with my client, it would help me really look at what factors or unique symptoms to consider when recommending a special diet and putting together a plan. So that, that was really a big help. As far as a case study, you know, like you said, we do have a lot of clients that we use um, the organic acids test with, and it's really remarkable how many people come back high in oxalates. Mm -hmm. So the tools she gave us with, um, even within the diet, she gives us lists and things like that. And that was really helpful for many of my oxalate clients. And then also, um, I had one particular client that it seemed like she was sensitive to everything. So Julie talked about, I think it was a question and answer where she said, look at which foods they can tolerate mm -hmm. and, you know, look what category that is in. And that really helped me figure out, okay, maybe it was just, um, amines, I think was that client, particularly that was her issue. And instead of being very restrictive, which was another thing, Julie, I really appreciated, you know, she was all about, being the least restrictive as possible because she wanted us to focus on what has the biggest impact, you know, especially if you're working with a child, you don't want to eliminate so many foods that they have any, nothing to eat, but you know, really with anyone you want to, um, I like to try to be as, you know, incorporate as many nutritious foods as we can. But um, that helped me really isolate what food substrate, what category they were struggling with. So that was really helpful too. Yeah, I think that's just so powerful. I mean, when I think about nutrition, I think, I think it's, it's basically biological information that we're giving our body. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, so many people, we focus on obviously getting the food and the nutrients, but we also don't think about the possible anti-nutrients that could be in the food. And, uh, you know, that's really what this program helps you identify. Some people are able to handle certain types of anti-nutrients and not able to handle others. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like we were talking about with the amines, and so this, this program is so helpful for that. And so Danielle, share your thoughts on it. Yeah, so as Dr. Tucker said, I have a master's in nutrition and I also studied um, from the Kresser Institute Functional Medicine. And although each of those programs were amazing and I learned such a tremendous amount, Julie's program helped sort of branch things. So, you know, my master's degree in nutrition was very scientific, a lot of biochemical pathways, sometimes a lot of useful information until you hear, you know, things that Julie says that talks about the biochemistry, but puts it in this practical matter. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to sort of take my knowledge from that 
um, combined with the, you know, what I learned in, in the functional medicine training course. And Julie just helped hone in on so many of these things where I wasn't able to make a connection with them before. And the little nuances that she provided really helped me understand, you know, why isn't a GAPS diet totally helping this person with autism? You know, I recently had this, um, you know, your, your program came in just in time. I had someone contact me. I think it was like late spring, early summer. And um, I actually have two children with autism now, which was great because it was off after I completed your program. So it provided me with all this knowledge that I didn't have before. I wouldn't have had those tools to be able to help these moms. Um, and one of, one of these families actually lives in Paris. They're from Nigeria. And actually, Julie, I think I, I talked to you about that recently. And um, this little boy's oxalates were 936. I don't think I've told you about this, Dr. J, yet. But, you know, what the heck do you do with that? <laughs> and, you know, it was, it was quite startling for me to see those numbers. And I think Julie said she hadn't seen numbers that high before as well. So, you know, not only did, you know, I learn a bunch of tools during this program as to what to look for as far as symptoms go, but what to do, how, how to lower these oxalates mm -hmm. safely. Um, Julie's also been such a support. I've jumped on a few of her um, support calls that she does monthly, and she's more than happy to answer any questions. So I think that's such an important part of a program mm -hmm. because oftentimes, and, and even in my functional medicine, like we had this support during our program. But then if you're not working in that field quite yet, if you're just training and then you're working in it later, later is when you have the questions, later is when these things come up and like, I need support. So Julie, the fact that you maintain a support network for all the people who you know, are in your program that have completed the program, super valuable super valuable. I don't feel like I'm, you know, on my own with that, that information that if I have questions that if questions arise, you're there for us. And that's, that's really important and really, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. I, love that. I love that. Julie, you're just dedicated to seeing your students have a lot of success and just as a team, we help more people get well. So absolutely. I, I really do think that's so important. As you said, you didn't have any clients with autism at first, and now you have them, and now you have that support when you need it. And so, yes, it's, um, I'm so glad. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I, as a practitioner, I mean, just our ability to be confident when we're coming across different clients, challenging cases is so important. And uh, knowing how to navigate through these therapeutic diets, I think is, is so powerful. Like I recently had a lady with fibromyalgia, and she was also having a lot of issues with incontinence and uh, ran an organic acid test, high oxalates. We started to reduce that and add in some binders to help with it. And pain levels have reduced 70%, right? So she was tremendous pain. Um, you know, the, the incontinence has improved, right? So just understanding how to navigate that has been powerful and, and life transforming for her. I mean, absolutely transforming. She was waking up four or five times at night to go to the bathroom because of the incontinence. Yeah. And now she's waking up once at night, right? So just the ability to sleep better there um, has, has made a world of difference for her. So, wow. Yeah. Some of these food compounds are so powerful. And sometimes I hear from practitioners that it doesn't, it, you know, it is complicated and it does take, require you to take out some foods that are seemingly healthy foods. So a lot of times I hear practitioners have this false sense of, oh, you don't need to do that special diet, just work on the microbiome or something like that. But sometimes these compounds are interfering with the ability for the microbiome to flourish. So we can't even get to and address the microbiome until we take some of these substances out and work on healing and some of those underlying things. So it's, I'm so glad that this information is getting out. It's so important to me uh, that that people are starting to see that these principles can make a huge difference and they the client often can't heal without addressing some of these things first at least as melissa was saying in the short term till we can get some healing going because there are you know we do take out some foods and but we want to do that very targetedly and then we want to work on healing things and i think that's one of the things that's different about the bio individual nutrition training is that you know, every special diet talks about how to do the special diet, but they don't talk about how to get off the special diet. So I'm always looking for how do we have the most robust 
nutrition. We know it's better for nutrition perspective. We know it's better so people don't develop further sensitivities by a diet that's too restrictive. But how do we do that while not sacrificing nutrition and then getting them back on a path? So that's what I've really spent a lot of time focusing on. Yeah, that's so good. Absolutely. And so if there's a practitioner out there that's listening to this, that's interested, what, what can they expect from the program and who really would be the, the best candidate for the, the program as well, Julie? Absolutely. So the training is all online and it's all available as soon as you sign up. So if you happen to be a person that likes to jump right in and dive into all of it, you can. Uh, we have study guides and case study calls and all sorts of support. I also have created meal plans and food lists and support tools for every single diet because that's one of the things in my practice that took me the most time. Every time I had to bio-individualize a nutrition plan, it would take me two to three hours. So I spent a lot of time taking those food lists of not only what not to eat, but what to eat or what might be in sort of the um, orange category of maybe it's okay, maybe it's not, depending on the person. So there's extensive food lists. There's instructions on how to implement the diet. There's meal plans. There's recipes. And then I have additional handouts. I have intake forms. I have symptom guides. I do a lot with symptoms. So when someone comes in and they tell me that they have fatigue, for example, that doesn't really tell me too much because two dozen different conditions have fatigue. But if you say I have fatigue with burning feet and joint pain that won't go away from an injury and uh, maybe certain things going on with the stool. Now I'm thinking, ah, maybe this is oxalates. And then we can follow it up with testing and things and, and go from there. So a lot on symptoms and what symptom clusters help to indicate certain conditions. So they get lot, you, lots of resources and support, uh, clinical handouts so that once they understand which diet or how to phase in a diet. So maybe sometimes we might need to do two or three sets of diet principles at once. Sometimes we want to take a methodical step-by-step -step approach. So once they figure out their strategy, then they've got all the tools to make it really easy to deliver that information. Because most of us know that we could come up with the best diet in the world, but if our client isn't going to do the diet because it doesn't fit their traveling lifestyle as an executive or it doesn't fit their picking eating needs of their child, then they're not going to do the diet. And then we as practitioners can't have success. And so this course is good for uh, people that work with adults. We have a lot of people that work with autoimmune conditions, all sorts of different ones, lots of digestive disorders. And then certainly I have lots of people that take the training because they work with kids, ADHD and autism and, and that type of uh, condition as well. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for that. And those resources are just so invaluable. The amount of time that you put into that is powerful and um, it's really helped us a lot. And so, again, you know, as a practitioner, your confidence is everything, your, your confidence in the cases that you're taking on. And so the more tools you have in your tool belt and really nutrition programs are, are you know, they're tools, right? And so the more of those tools that you have in your tool belt and the more comfortable you get at understanding and linking different symptoms together, the better off you're going to be. Because a lot of this stuff you can't really find on tests. Mm -hmm. We can test oxalates. Um, but you know, we can't necessarily test certain things, right. And, um, and understanding how somebody responds to certain foods. Um, you could even do full food sensitivity panels and not pick up any of these things. And so it's really important to be able to have this knowledge and be able to link, uh, you know, these different symptoms and, and how they, how they affect the body. And so, uh, what I'm going to do real quick, since we have some time here is I'm going to actually share my screen and kind of show the page because if you're interested in this course, um, Julie and her husband, Martin, have actually provided us with a 25% discount on the entire training, which is extremely generous. And so the, the page is bioindividualnutrition.com forward slash Dr. Jockers. Uh, can you guys see that screen? Yes. Is that coming in? Okay, good. So you can see right here, improve your clinical results by using bioindividual nutrition. Here, here are some of the diets. And so some of these I had never even heard of beforehand. Right, so the low salicylate diet, low histamine diet, low oxalate, ketogenic diet, which I'm really known for, which I think has you know incredible potential, but it, it's not, it's not for everybody. And this is what you learn: low FODMAPs diet, low glutamate diet. You've got gluten free, casein free, paleo diet, SCD gaps diet, and so she really helps us understand wh when to use these diets 
right? When, when each of these is going to be most effective. And so you can see a testimonial and just, she goes through a lot of content and information in here that helps you understand more about the program if it's right for you. And she also has this great resource here. So if you just kind of want to get a taste of something, um, her 10 pivotal nutrition questions re is really intriguing and starts getting you moving and thinking in the right direction. I really think every practitioner should be asking themselves these questions and really have access to that, that resource right there. Uh, so with that said, uh, Melissa, what would you say to, you know, one of your colleagues that, you know, was thinking about doing this training? Do you think it would be a good idea? Oh, absolutely. I've recommended this course to other practitioners and, you know, I'm often asked but as a health coach, you know, what health coaching course would you take or recommend? And I always tell people, you know, that course isn't going to be enough. You're really going to need to do a deep dive to really understand if you're going to make nutrition recommendations. So this course is the best I've seen. I love her list. There's so many different food lists out there for each, like for oxalates. When I first um, learned about oxalates, I was researching. There were all these different food lists out there. Julie's is really one of the best I've seen. So, I, And I really have confidence and trust that what she's putting out there is correct. And I feel comfortable and um, recommending that to my clients. So I definitely recommend this for any practitioner who's looking to go deeper into understanding different um, just special diets, for sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And Danielle, what uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, you know, one of the first special diets that I ever studied was the GAPS diet. And I love what Julie talks about, like sometimes someone will be on the GAPS diet and one, one of my families with, uh, with a child with autism, she was so, she had such dogma you know, with the, the GAPS diet, like this is the only thing he could be on. This is it. But Julie talks about like there are, you know, if you've got an amine issue, there's things on the GAPS diet that are the core of the GAPS diet that are really going to be upsetting and still continue to cause symptoms with these children and people in general. Um, so yeah, it just, like I said before, it really helps hone in on the details of things that I've, I haven't learned in any other program that I've taken. So Highly recommend it to to any practitioner who's focusing on nutrition with their clients. Yeah, Thank so you. good, so good. You know, I, I was yeah. gonna say, sorry, the GAPS diet is a great diet. I love the diet, and my objective really is to make the diet even more effective. And we have a practitioner, her name is Holly, and she has a client uh, with a child with uh, autism who's only three, and she had put him on the GAPS diet, and he was doing better but it's having these really significant digestive issues still and you would think that that diet would help so we spent a bunch of time on a call trying to figure out I was trying to help her figure out where she might go next and I identified that maybe salicylates and amines were part of the issue and so she did go back and she did uh, refine the diet in this case she did go loosen up those principles a little and went more to a low salicylate amine diet and her client wrote back calling her quote a life-changing genius because she was able to help this child who'd been suffering for so long sometimes we are able to just take that diet and refine it sometimes we might need to open up a few of those principles to give us a little space to really get to maybe what the heart of the matter was and once she did that her child started really thriving and so in you know what I really like to say is if you're an expert let's say in keto my objective isn't to say don't do keto mine is how can you make keto even more effective how can you really fine-tune it and dial it in so you can really get those results that you know that you are hoping to see with that client yeah, absolutely. And that's exactly what we've been able to learn and get out of this. And so, you know, as a, as a practitioner myself, I've always thought every single year I want to invest in something that's going to advance my knowledge, you know? And so I want to find the best program out there for the topic that I feel like I really need to learn more about. And so, uh, you know, last year we invested in bio-individual nutrition training and uh, it was invaluable. And so, uh, you know, I would highly recommend if you're out there, you want to advance your knowledge. You want to get better as a practitioner, have more confidence in the client cases that you're taking on and, and really just earn more referrals, be able to, you know, obviously make more income and make more impact with what you're doing. You really, uh, you can't go wrong with taking this course. I think uh, the value is incredible and you can take it at your own pace, right? And so that's the cool thing about it as well. So if, you're, if you've got a really busy schedule, you know, if you can open up even like an hour a week. And I know, Melissa, I think that's what you did when you started, you and Danielle, 
you guys have are, are packed schedules, right? And you've, you've got kids and family and all this kind of stuff going on. And so you just dedicated a little bit of time each week to advancing your knowledge. And before long, you finished the program, you were certified and, um, and putting it into action, right? Yeah, I saw. I know. I know, Melissa. You got young kids at home. Oh, looks like you're. You're muted. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah a plane was flying over a minute ago. <laughs> when you're online, it's so easy to listen where whatever you're doing. So if I was going for a walk, I could listen. You know, and I took notes a lot. So some of them I would sit down, but it's just it's so flexible to you know just incorporate in whatever your schedule is. So that's another thing that I really appreciate about the course. Yeah. I like to do the course the way I like to take courses. So I like to have everything available day one. So if it's two o'clock in the morning, I can dive in and start seeing everything. And then I can also just um, have all that information to take with me. So if I'm traveling on a plane, you get downloadable audio files or you can watch the videos. You can download the slides. So it can, you can be on connected to the internet or not and still be able to move forward. Yes. And you could keep going back and look at it over and yes. over again, which I've done with, with, you know, with the salicylates and the amines, that was such new information for me. I listened to that like four times because it was like, okay, every time I'm going to get something else, I'm going to understand it a little differently. And yes, I, yes. I to, able to go and listen to them time and time again. Yes. You know, when you see clients and you see new clients, you get a new level of uh, in, interest in that module and so you do have lifetime access to it you don't just have access during the time of the program you have lifetime access and as I make new improvements like new handouts and things everyone gets access to those too so where whenever you start I have people that started four years ago I came out with some brand new handouts everyone has access to those as well yeah I mean it's just so invaluable right there and yeah, so if you're interested in binge watching, you can do that, right? You can binge watch it and go through this whole program in a week or two, right? But if you've got a busy schedule, you don't have to do that. You don't have to think that you've got to do that. You can do it over six months, nine months, you know, however long you need to. And like you said, you can continue to go back to that, that information and just continue to have it as part of, uh, you know, your resources and the things that you need to help your clients get well. So... Julie, before we finish up here, tell us a little bit about that 10 Pivotal Nutrition Questions PDF. So if somebody's interested in kind of just getting a taste with that, what, uh, what do you go over in that PDF? I chose 10 of the top questions that practitioners often ask me. So for example, we we're just talking about oxalates and oxalate testing. I think it's great. But in the, P the, the, question, in the PDF, I explain even if your score is not high, you still might have an issue with that. And so I go into and explain why. I've actually seen this happen a number of times, not only with my own clients, but with some of the uh, graduates of our program have had that. So that's something I put in there. So I really go into, you know, if your client has inflammation, what do you want to look at? If they've got GI issues, what diets might be a factor? If they're presenting with these symptoms of mitochondrial dysfunction, what diets might that mean? If there's certain lab results, what, what do you want to look at there? So I go through 10 of the top questions that pr practitioners ask, and I explain it from a bio-individual nutrition lens. Yeah, that's good. And, and that's a free PDF. So really, everybody that's listening should just go ahead and download that, start diving into that content. I think that's, uh, that's extremely important here. And so um, with the program, <clears throat> Once somebody goes through and completes the program now, they also get listed on your website. Is that correct? Absolutely. Once they become certified as a bioindividual nutrition practitioner, they are able to list their all their practice information, including whatever they want, what diets they work with, what conditions, whatever, however they want to fill out their profile. It's quite robust. And then they're available to anyone that might want to work with a practitioner. And I get calls every day in my office for people wanting to work with me. And I just don't have the capacity as one person to work with everyone. So I get to refer them to this practitioner list and they get to see all these wonderful practitioners like Melissa and Danielle that have gone through the program and find a really good practitioner that can help them. Yeah, I think that's just so important. You know, today's day and age, it's really about personalized nutrition, personalized medicine, and people are starting to understand that and realize that, especially the more challenging, more highly motivated individuals, because they've been other places and they've been let down. And so they're looking for somebody that's got advanced training that really understands the pitfalls they may have encountered and how to personalize things. And so I think that really 
as a practitioner makes you stand out way above the crowd. Um, and, you know, I, I've been through a lot of advanced functional medicine uh, trainings and stuff like that. And, and I think that's great, right? But really understanding the bio-individual aspect of nutrition, I think, is, um, <clears throat> is where the rubber meets the road and, and what really allows a practitioner to get breakthrough-like results for, for the really challenging cases. So thanks again, Julie, for, for creating this program. And if you're interested, uh, we have a link below, but again, it's just bioindividual nutrition forward slash DR jockers. And you can take advantage of the 25% discount, very generous discount on the entire program. Go through that, graduate, get listed on our website, work with, with, uh, with tough clients, help them get well and really grow your practice and grow your impact and your ability to, to help people <clears throat> achieve their health results, uh, health results that they want. So uh, Julie, thanks again. Any last words for, for our listeners? Well, thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be able to be here and share this information because so uh, it's, I've seen such wonderful results in my own practice. And I would say that really that's, this program came out of practical application with clients over almost two decades. So I'm glad to see that it's actually producing results for people that take it because it came out of real practical experience along with, as you know, I think that Melissa and Danielle have mentioned, lots and lots of science because I'm really into the biochemistry and really into, because we have doctors and all sorts of people like yourselves taking our training and I want to make sure that they can feel confident with the recommendations. So they're not only based on clinical results, but also science too. So I want to thank all of you for helping to get the word out there for people. And uh, if anyone has anything they need from me, they're welcome to contact me or my office and I'm happy to share more. Thank you so much. Sounds great. Thanks, Julie. And so again, check out the link below and, uh, you know, at the very least download the uh, 10 pivotal nutrition questions PDF that will help you go deeper on this topic. So I know you get a tremendous value out of the PDF and out of the program. So that's why I'm introducing you to it and uh, would love to hear um, your questions, your comments as well. So you can just comment below the video if you, if you have any other comments and uh, wish everybody a, a wonderful day. Be blessed. Bye.